So uh, where'd you fit in with his whole kind of um, setup? Camp Soul. Um, moving forward to the first session, obviously, I'd done with yeah. him. So when he, his trainers at the time were based in Romford. Right. Right. So he, when COVID happened, I was working uh, with him in camp for his two fights he had behind closed doors. So he's got his, he had his head trainer at the time. So I was more of an assistant uh, as his second, they yeah. call it, yeah. So like I said, with my pad work, is different to anyone else's. So the head coach will do three, four rounds with him. I'll come in and switch it up. So he'll be doing right. more combination punches, speed, accuracy, counter punching. So I was in camp working with him at the time under two fights during lockdown. So how many fights has he had, bro? 16, 16. Pro, yeah? Yeah. This is a six, I think he's in camp now. So 16 fights. This will be 16 fight. 17, 16. Because he's in America now, right? So he's literally flew out yesterday. Um, so he trains now. His head coach is uh, Ricky Funes from California. So that Ten Tengu's, Tengu's team, Tengu's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So he's been with him, I think, five fights now, four or five fights. So how does that work if he's in the UK? And so, like I said, with him, when he had his trainers here, I was in camp with him, yeah. everything. Now he's up, obviously, based in America. So when he's not in camp, we work together. Right. So I'm still working with him, still doing things with him. When he gets a fight date, he goes obviously to LA. He does his 10, 12 week camp. So he'll fly back two and a half weeks before or two weeks before the fight. And then I'll link up with the boys again. Okay, how so, come? So the last two weeks, because they don't have to go out to America, isn't it? So one second, so he goes out. He goes out, he's yeah. with his head trainer. Right. He's in camp. Oh, right. So I'm thinking that he's fighting in America. No, as no, well. no, no. So, no. so when's his next, where's his next fight? So... I think to be about I, per, I think he may be fighting in October. But where is it? Is it in the UK? It should be UK. Oh, I see. It should be UK. So right. he's fighting, um, yeah, he's fighting hopefully, I believe, inshallah, in October. Inshallah. So like I said, after he's had his fight, or training, sorry, he comes back to the UK uh, two weeks before the fight date to, again, acclimatise and yeah, all of that yeah, stuff. Yeah. And then I'll be with, with them for the last two weeks. And by that time, they just kind of... Um, you know, just tapering down, yeah, yeah, so. making making weight. Uh, sometimes I'll stick the body bag on, and he'll just just have a, little, a few rounds with me. Um, he'll skip off and a little bit of sparring, maybe. Um, and what and does he fight at, bro? He fights at middleweight. So what's that in uh, hundred and fifty? So super. So he's six foot four. Yeah, because he's a tall boy, mashallah, six bro. Six foot four, but he was fighting at super well, I wasn't he? So that's one hundred and fifty four. One hundred and fifty four at the yeah. time. And then it just just come making that weight for such a big person. It was only a matter of time until he gets to middleweight. So How old is he? Twenty three, I think. Still young. 23, 24. Yeah, twenty three. Yeah, twenty three years old. Yeah, sixteen fights. And his last ten fights have been by knockout. Mashallah. Yeah. So he but fought. Uh, he fought. Uh, he fought an Argentinian last week. So he he's basically the WBC silver champion. So he's got a top ten, I believe, a top ten ranking now with the WBC. So that puts him in a in a good stead to kind of like to fight for world honors, inshallah. For inshallah. so hopefully fight here and then there's a few obviously domestic fights that he can have, but I think the go ultimate goal is just to be world champion. So and who's in? Who's like in? A, so who's the the guy at the top of the food a, chain at the moment? Charlo, isn't it? Well, to be honest, I, I've seen something today that Hamza posted about him um, potentially fighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Know. So there's a, there's a, there's another guy who was who who was that vacated off? Andrade yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so Andrade was supposed to fight he vacated or he didn't fight for this belt and there was another chap now that's been given the world championship belt so I saw it on YouTube um, it's not YouTube given as in he had to fight for it or no he, he didn't it was just basically there's a world title he didn't this guy didn't get he didn't fight no one to win it it was so basically like interim kind yeah. of like uh, it was handed to him right yeah so why how does that even happen bro I think it was, uh, he was the next in line to fight for right him. So I think they, they, they basically there was something on social media about Hamza fighting him for that guy's first And that's defense. WBO? That is WBO, yeah. World title. So who knows? Like, And how many titles are there, bro? You've got WBO, you've got WBC, you've got WBA, IBF. IBF, yeah. IBO is not, I mean, they it's a world title, but it's not considered as a one of the major. Yeah. major so it's about four or five, yeah. roughly. Yeah, and then you've got a Ring Magazine, which is like, you know, 
is, is, is what's it is shown as the best of pound for pound or right. uh, so undisputed means you got basically all of them all about so basically if Usyk beats Fury or yeah. if Fury beats Usyk he's undisputed and he's got he's got all the belts but yeah so, so if shows, you fight someone that's got all the belts and you beat him you get all his belts all the belts mm. yeah that's much like friggin', was it Lord of the Rings bro it's mad <laughs> 100% 